Hey guys, video seven in the Salvation series. I wanna to go to an important verse that often people will use to show, well, if you're really saved, you won't do any of the things you used to do. You, if you were a drinker, a smoker, uh, shacking up with somebody, whatever your sin was, you won't be doing those things because you're a new creature, old things are passed away, all things are become new. And they get that from 2 Corinthians chapter 5 in verse 17 where the Bible reads, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, which is when you're saved, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away, Behold, all things are become new. And I want to show you why this is, it's very dangerous to misappropriate this verse and to take that verse and make it mean that. Because the Bible says all we need to do is believe on Jesus Christ and we'll be saved. The Bible's very clear on that. And the Bible says that we receive the spirit of adoption whereby we cry, Abba, Father. So God adopts us into the family of God. We are now sons of God. To as many believed on him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them which believe on his name. So we're simply a son of God by believing, not by doing anything, not by uh, giving up anything. We are adopted into the family of God. The Bible says in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Um, in uh, Romans 5, 8. So a lot of times people will take this verse and mean old things are passed away and make that mean all your old works are passed away. Behold, all things or all your new works are become new. Okay, so you, you will then be going to church. You will then wear a suit and a tie. You will then do all these things. But that's just simply not the case. Paul, who was the greatest apostle that ever lived, the Bible, he, he said that everything I want to do, I don't do. And the things I do want to do, or the things I don't want to do, I do those things. And the, uh, Paul was very clear. He said, I have to die daily. He had to mortify the deeds of the flesh. He had to, um, he had to subdue them or bring them under subjection every single day. He had a constant battle. And I want to kind of look at this verse because this verse is not speaking of all your old actions becoming new. It's speaking of reconciliation. And we're going to see that in the verses to follow. Reconciliation is the restoring of family relations. It's, it's taking you who were not a child of Christ and making you a child of Christ. You used to be not his. Now you are his. Now you are a son of God. That is the all things are become new. It doesn't mean all of a sudden you don't even have a desire to smoke. You don't have a desire to lie anymore. Uh, that's amazing. Because if it meant that, if, it, if you took it to mean all things, it would teach sinless perfection. And therefore, all things would have to be, by definition, all your works would have to become new. It means you don't sin anymore. No more lying. No more even white lies. It says all. So guys, you're either going to take the verse literally if you want to make it mean works, which it doesn't, or you can't. But look at what it does mean. Now, I believe that this verse is speaking of reconciliation. I think the Bible makes it very clear. But if you take it on a context, you can make it mean anything you want. In context, verse 18 says, And all things are of God who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation. To wit, that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and hath committed to unto us the word of reconciliation. Now we are ambassador, now then we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, be reconciled to God. Those are the all things. We're now reconciled to God. For he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. That's not something that your actions are all new. We are made the righteousness of God in him. He made us an all new creature. He made us a son of God. That is what is meant by all things are become new. We are now seated in heavenly places and are a child of the king.